Risk measures. Risk is the probability that the actual return would be different from what was expected. A risk-free investment is one in which the expected return can be assigned a probability of 100%. All investments are subject to some risk or the other, only the nature and extent of risk may vary. Any investment is subject to multiple risks. Let's take this SBI bond as an example which has market risk, credit risk, call risk, reinvestment risk, and liquidity risk. Risk can be measured by the extent to which the actual returns can disperse or deviate from the expected return. The statistical measure of this dispersion is called standard deviation. The greater the range of outcomes as compared to the expected return, the riskier the investment. There are two parts to risk, company-specific which contribute to the unsystematic risk and market-specific which account for the systematic risk. Unsystematic risk together with systematic risk form total risk. We can use the co-movement of a stock's return with a market index to estimate the systematic risk. This measure of systematic risk is popularly called the beta. Beta value of more than 1 means more risky than the market and less than 1 means less risky than the market. High beta sectors are cyclical and do better in rising markets and worse in falling markets whereas low beta sectors are defensive do not rise or fall as much as the market. The return on a stock is a function of the risk-free return RF and that proportion of the market risk premium, which is the difference between the market risk RM and the risk-free return RF, as determined by the beta of the stock buy. Sharp ratio is measure of an investment's real return per unit of standard deviation. Sharp ratio tells us whether the fund is yielding extra returns for the extra risk taken. Trainer ratio is a measure of an investment's real return per unit of beta and a higher trainer ratio is better and shows that the investment is earning more return per unit of market risk. Asset allocation, diversification, hedging and goal-based investing are some of the measures to manage risk.